In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download and install a Konica Minolta print driver for use with Konica Minolta copiers and printers. First, we're going to need to go retrieve the driver. Um, you can use whatever browser you'd like. Uh, we've got Internet Explorer down here. I'm going to use Firefox. I prefer to use Firefox. So go ahead and open your browser. And whatever search engine you use is fine. Um, I use Yahoo. A lot of people like Google. Google's just fine. Um, we're going to type in Konica Minolta Driver or drivers. Doesn't matter. And press enter. Now in the ser search results, um, this seems to be the easiest way to find it rather than going direct to the website. If you scroll down, you can see I've already clicked on it before, but you're looking for the one that says Support and Drivers Search Page. And we want to click on that. And the page should look like this. Green bar that says Support and Drivers. If you scroll down just a little bit, Search by Product Group select what we're installing and I just happen to be installing a Konic Minolta C360 so that's a color product and then I'm going to scroll down in the product column and select BizHub C360 and select drivers and select your operating system I'm running Windows 7 so I'll select Windows 7 and then just click show. Now scroll down and it's going to have several files. Um, if you notice, um, even though this says Postscript drivers, it's got the Postscript, PCL, and the fax as well as the XPS driver all in one. Um, what we don't want to do is we do not want to download the KM Universal Driver. Um, you're a lot better off going with the specific driver for your machine. Um, if this was the newest driver, then we can use the one under it. It's not a universal driver. It is a, uh, machine specific. So either under PostScript or under PCL, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and download um, the appropriate driver and we want to download the dot zip so just click on it and it's going to prompt you to save it. Internet Explorer will pr probably ask you where you want to save it and we do want to save it so go ahead and click OK. Takes just a couple minutes to download the driver depending on your internet connection. Alright now it's just about done. and we can go ahead and minimize this browser out of our way our file is done downloading so let's go ahead and double click that to open it and it might look a little bit different um, on your computer uh, mine's opening in 7-zip but that's okay the basic idea is still the same open the driver folder and now we got setup.exe and setup64.exe. Um, the way to find out if you have a 64 bit or 32 bit operating system, we need to go down to start, right click on computer, select properties, and we're just looking right here system type 32 bit operating system. Mine's 32-bit, so I'm going to use um, the setup.exe. If it said 64-bit, I would need to use the setup64. So just double-click to open that. And now we're going to click Agree. Go ahead and click Next. It's asking uh, Preferences IPv4. That's what we want. All the defaults are fine. Just click Next. Now it's going to try to find our printer on the network. And as long as it's plugged in and the network setup 
correctly, it should find it. Okay, it did find it. Conic Minolta BizHub C360. Um, there's the IP address 192.168.1.104. Um, if it didn't find it for some reason, we could specify one um, by clicking there and clicking refer to and putting in the IP address manually and then clicking OK. But since it found it, we'll go ahead and use that. Now go ahead and click Next. And it says it's going to install the PostScript, the PCL, and the XPS driver. Just click Install. Okay, now that's finished. And it shows the three print drivers it installed. Now we can go ahead and we could click finish right here. There's some settings we could change by going into print setting. Um, we're going to come back to that. Um, there's a couple things in there I want to show you. But I'm going to go ahead and click finish and I'm going to show you another way to get to that uh, in case you accidentally close that window. Go down here to start and go to devices and printers. and we're going to click on the appropriate printer in this case we just installed the C360 it's these three print drivers let's just modify one of them um, just for the tutorial you would actually want to modify all of them um, so we're going to right click and go to printing preferences and then um, one of the main things that we want to change and this is just to save you some money um, we want to click on the quality tab at the top we want to change select color to grayscale and then hit apply what that does is every time we print it's going to print in black and white which means it's going to charge us for a black and white copy um, otherwise even if you print in black and white and it's on auto color it's going to print it in color and count it as color even though it looks black and white so that's a default setting that we want to change um, for sure now the other setting I'm going to show you under the basic tab this is just if you have to enter code when you walk up to the copier this is how you would program your print driver in order to allow you to print so we're going to click on authentication account track and you see this is grayed out I don't have it set up um, if it was set up um, account track would most likely be what would be set up and department name and password you could fill these fields in um, any of our customers for high tech office systems are most likely going to be set up for password only um, you, it's not necessary to enter a department name so you'd put in your four digit password um, let's say mine is one two three four so I would put that in you can click verify it'll tell you verify has succeeded if you get any other message that's probably the wrong password so just put it in there click OK click apply and click OK again any changes made to the print driver in this area of the computer are basically setting your defaults if you make this change right before you print in a program it's not going to save it so this is the route you need to take to make any changes that you want to um, make permanent um, you know for any time you print so account track would definitely be something that you would want to put in um, if that's required and also you want to set it to grayscale in order to prevent you from wasting color copy counts. And that's the end of the Conic Minolta print driver tutorial.